Operation Bone Walker. Our covert hunt of Dar Dari Dar Two Valinor has finally led us here, the very seat of her power. Neither the shadows under her dominion nor her elder masters will be able to save her once we assault the stronghold. Let's see who we're taking along. First off, if you are in the chat right now and you are on this team, please sound off because I would love to put you in. M, you are already in, obviously. I'm a little bit upset that I don't have the frost bomb, so I guess I'm gonna give it to Daniel. He's got quite a lot of explosive power as it is, and having the frost bomb could be a gigantic advantage. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's get started. Ooh, I forgot to get myself a glass of water. I will be back in just a moment, friends. Menace, ready to deploy. Hydration, very important. Okay, I'm back. Let's get started. Definitely editing that out of the YouTube video. Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today. No matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this day honors the Elders. So we're gonna set up to breach here. We only have the one exit. But we're gonna go on Overwatch for now. Overwatch for on Overwatch. And then we're gonna try to open the doors next round and see what's on the other side. What's the lore on the name XCOM? I'm sure that comes from a previous... I can afford to give you no um, a previous game that I did not play. Alright, we're gonna open the door. Let's see what we got. Nothing yet. As usual, we're gonna send Silver Key forward um, to Scout because they are damn near invisible. I will reposition. Still nothing. What's in this room? Nothing. There's a door over there. There's a door over there. Got it. That makes sense, Pun Queen. All right. Folks in chat, I go we make a choice. We are going left or we're going forward. Not a problem. It's pretty no much 50-50, so I'm going to let you all I weigh in. Moving out. Sure thing. All right. We will set up to breach on this large door here on the north side. On my way. Tired of waiting around. On the move. On the move. They're getting closer. Ah, well, that changes that plan, now that we know where the enemy is. And in fact, they are coming through the door. We don't have a whole lot of overwatch, unfortunately, but they are coming in on their turn, so that gives us an advantage. Ariana, or Adriana, takes, or deals nine damage on that reaction shot. This definitely could have been worse. It would have been nice if we had more Overwatch set up, but I think we still got this. Your world lies in turmoil, yet you choose to come here to face me. You squander what time you have left. You are not worthy of this world. All right, so we're going to move Daniel over here, where he is flanking this shield bearer, and he's going to take an 83% shot. Excellent shot, DJ Daniel takes down that shield bearer and thus lowers the total amount of HP that are going to be available. That shield bearer was going to put a whole bunch of temporary HP all over everybody. Okay, so we've got three enemies left. I have access to the Mimic Beacon if I need it, but I don't think that's going to be necessary this time around. If I slash the Berserker, it'll probably kill it. If I slash the Lancer, it'll probably kill it. And then the, the Purifier is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Nasif takes down the Lancer. He's got that implacable movement. I don't know if I'm really going to do anything with that. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and burn the overdrive cooldown. I really want to make sure this Berserker is dead, and I'd like to get a solid shot off on that Purifier as well. Eight damage on the first shot. Takes it down on the second. 72 is not bad. All right, let's go, Scimitar. What do you got? Deal seven damage to the Purifier. Now, the question is, can I kill the Purifier? And I think I can with Chaco Sunshine. I need to hope there are no more enemies in here, though, because if I go in here with Chaco, he'll be flanking, and he'll definitely be able to take out that Purifier. If I go here, I don't have the flank, but I'm also not exposing Chaco. I think I'm going to play it safe. 88%, still pretty good. And Chaco Sunshine gets the job done. And Silver Key still being in um, shadow means that we can explore this area. I think this is going to be a dead end, but I'm not 100% on that. So I'm going to send Silver Key over there. I will always find you. Ah, there is enemies, or there are enemies. But I don't know if I even need to bother with this room. I guess there's another room beyond it, so we may as well kill them. Okay. Ready to go. We know where the next pod is, so we're going to get reloaded. Everyone's going to be getting ready to go. You can move sure just thing. over there. You can Tell go on Overwatch. So. Let's see what those enemies do. If there's only two of them, it should be an easy encounter. Oh, shut up. Nobody I'm likes you. Okay, the enemy is right there, so I'm going to set up in this room here and get some overwatch, because I imagine they're going to head in my direction. Not a problem. On overwatch. Absolutely. Got it covered. Let's do this. Oh right, Adriana can move twice and still go on Overwatch, so we're gonna do that. All right, we pulled the enemies. I wasn't entirely hoping for that to happen, but I don't think it's a big deal. Nasif misses. Dan will deal some serious damage through a wall, no less. Um, and now we're in a rough place. Um, I think I need to... It looks like I'm probably going to take some damage here. Which is really unfortunate. And I don't know if there's a way to stop it. I'm going to sting the Berserker, which will keep Silver Key in uh, Shadow. And hopefully, when the Berserker runs toward the party, Adriana will take it down with a reaction shot. I reach out from the darkness. Excellent damage from Silver Key. I'm on it. Which one loves the sound of their own voice the most? I want to say the hunter. Adriana does exactly what she was need or what she needed to do. We still have to deal with this uh, with this codex. But it's going to start with the Psionic Bomb, which does not do damage. Excellent. Macalia, welcome. Glad you're here. Psychanthrope, welcome. Glad you're here. Irish, welcome. I'm glad you're here. By the way, Irish, specifically, I did um, remember, I did make a character in your image. You requested Leroy Jenkins, who has been a staple of my team ever since. So yes, Leroy is in this game, and you will get to see him in action. Okay, so what that did was it... Um, basically unloaded all my weapons so I'm gonna get out of this area that's gonna explode and now I get to decide how to kill this codex we're gonna start with a slash which will conveniently get Nasif out of the area it's gonna clone 
into a not too terribly awful place. Um, I'm gonna have Silver Key finish off this codex, which should keep them hidden. Yep. I'll need more ammo soon. All right, Adriana is gonna get out and reload. Chaco has a pistol, so he's gonna get out okay. to here. His pistol was unaffected because it doesn't actually like have ammunition. It's just always loaded somehow. So 100% shot. Chaco Sunshine takes down the Codex, and now we just have to worry about getting out of the death zone and reloading. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. I think I think uh, I made a small mistake, but I think we managed to, to make our way through it. Shut your hole. That is a wall. Okay, so this was a dead end. It was just a dead end with enemies in it. Got it. Okay, well, that is good to know. We're going to go back into this room. And we're going to, uh, once again, to load up. And we're going to get ready to get into this area. Now, that is an open door, it looks like. So I'm not going to go any closer. I'm not ready to pull more enemies. Scanning. Set Overwatch priority. So you're going to move forward and reload. I think because you have the anti-material rifle, yes, you do get a free reload. Yay, weapon mods. Understood. Moving out. Some get some. All right. Let's see if any enemies stumble into me, and then we're going to proceed cautiously. That looks like an exit. Overwatch. We're gonna put Silver Key into the room and see if I they find anything. Tell me. Doesn't look like it. We don't have, we have, oh, there's an exit this way. Got it, got it. Okay, and is there an exit this way as well? There is. Okay, so we've got another choice to make, but for now, we are going to move forward. Uh -huh. Move forward. Double time. Some Moving folks out. are going to sprint, but I am going to try to leave a few people on Overwatch Covered. just Covered in out. case. Adriana can go on Overwatch after moving. Something out there. We've got enemies to Covered. our right. And still, the elders offer you mercy. And still you resist. You confuse petulance for righteousness. You doom your entire race. Let's see here. There's the edge of the map. It doesn't look like there are any exits over here, so I'm pretty sure this room is a dead end. Let's go the other way. I don't know why it gave Folks, me enemy so sounds from over there. But whatever. Sure thing. Will do. Route confirmed. Position confirmed. Absolutely. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Get some Overwatch. Yeah, if they're still telling us that the enemies are behind us. Overwatch. No, we're in the right spot, all right. We got chrysalids. These chrysalids seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Pretty sure I can deal with these. 
I seem to have found my way to the to the exit, which is nice. I, I saw way fewer enemies than I was expecting to see. Maybe I bypassed some of them. Attack number one. And in fact, I'm gonna spread the love here because I wanna shred all that armor, so attacking the second chrysalid to shred and deal six. Awesome. So they should all be easy to take down now. In particular with Silver Key, who can do it while still maintaining energy signature directly Stealth. ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. I need ammo to hunt. I'm I'm getting a little bit suspicious because so far this has been a very smooth run or very smooth mission. And that always happens right before things go to That's shit. Right. I think the rifle was probably overkill, but hey, it only dealt three, three damage anyway. Okay, and congratulations, Chaco Sunshine, for your promotion, or should I say Major Chaco Sunshine? Sure thing. Let's move into this room here. Absolutely. Overwatch. Okay, well, we seem to be in the clear. We do not seek to kill and destroy. You project your own failings upon us. You blind yourself. You know, I said that the Chosen Hunter is probably the one that loves the sound of their own voice the most, but now that I'm here and getting irritating, annoying nonsense every single round, I think I might be willing to reconsider my position on that. On the move! Running! Okay. Oh no, I'm not leaving anybody yet. Yeah, we definitely bypassed some enemies. I think we got lucky with our pathing. See, that's not how you start a negotiation. I offer, I offer you peace, but not for you. I'm still gonna kill you. Like, what, what response do you think you're gonna get from that? Come on. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we reload. And we are out of here. Right, it is the activate Ascension Gate button. I know what I'm doing. Warning, only units on the Ascension Gate platform will proceed. Units left behind will return to the Avenger. We don't have any injured. Everyone's good to go. Let's well go done, take Menace down the Assassin. See you on the other side. I agree, Psychanthrope. They definitely all do. The Warlock likes to wax poetical. Now, people, proceed carefully. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the children? How would you know that, Central? No they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Like, it would make sense if Tygen was like, hey, it's a stasis chamber. But what, what made Central look at a giant rectangle that's floating and say, is that a stasis chamber? Jesus. All right, moving forward. We've got a mech and a trooper. I think I should be able to get a shot off on the mech. Chaco Sunshine will finish the job. No kill like overkill. And then there is... Oh man, we lost sight. Annoying. 
My life is in your hands. I know where you are. There you are. 66% and I don't want to reveal yet. I don't want to risk that. What I can do though is I can run and gun. Set him up, knock him down. With Nasif. I'm all over. We'll get some low cover and see if we can finish him off with the shotgun. Beautiful. You know, Central is is kind of a jerk, but I don't think he's a spy. I'm not ruling it out, but I don't I don't think so. He doesn't strike me as the type. All right, I don't actually want to move forward too far yet because some of my folks have already taken their turn. So I am going to move folks a little bit Let's forward. And then we're going to wait to activate the Chosen Assassin on the next round. I won't let them pass. Sure thing. Okay, now we'll move forward. Moving on target. Hey, what's up? Battle. You have done well. Come. Know that you have earned a good death. You know what, assassin? You have attacked right. me like four times, and I've never had problems again. with you yet. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this Fuck you alive. and everything in your immediate vicinity. Oh, she moved somewhere. Okay. We're fine. She's out there somewhere, invisible, which is a little bit irritating, but we'll find her. Uh, she doesn't take Overwatch fire, so there's no point in even trying. The moment, though, that uh, one Silver Key sees the Chosen Assassin, she'll be marked. So I'm gonna, like, move Silver Key up here and see if we can find her. All right. Well, we're definitely going to take at least one attack. That's for sure. Not a problem. We're going to position folks forward so that they can start attacking the sarcophagus oh, no. the moment they get a chance. No elevated positions for Chaco Sunshine. Very upsetting. Order confirmed. But he does Order. have view of the entire room, so that's fine. Sure thing. Hunkering down isn't going to help either, but may as well do something. Alright, there she is. She takes a solid shot on Adriana. Now where's she going? That's the question. She summons a faceless. Not too worried about that. Oh, Nasif with the Blade Storm stuns it and almost kills it in one shot. And she's in that well there. And as I said before, she is now marked. She cannot hide from me any longer. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wake Adriana up. But we want to do so in a way that allows us to take an attack. I'm away. So I'm going to put you there, DJ Daniel. you're going to wake up Adriana. I admire your attempts at loyalty, as futile as they might be. Um, you can take an attack on the Chosen. She is weak specifically against... 53% isn't great though. Let's see if there's anything else we can do first. We'll start with this axe throw, 59%. He manages to hit for seven. All right, now we're gonna have M take that shot. Oh, that's right though. M does provide the um, hollow target, which is super useful for the rest of the squad. Nasif goes in for the melee attack. And that's how it's done. Takes her down, 13 damage. Nasif absolutely killed it. 
Well done. I'm clipping that. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Okay, now you are dazed. We're not done yet, though. It is it is healing back to, to full as we speak. So we're going to see if we can take down this thing. We're going to go on overdrive, which will let us take three shots. Um, one of those shots will indeed be used to put this um, faceless out of its misery. Target eliminated. We'll pick up an Illyrium core. Very nice. And the second two... See if we can take down that sarcophagus. I'm going to need ammunition, Commander. Reload sequence. Chaco Sunshine helps out. We're definitely dealing some damage. But I think this is going to take at least one more round. And in the meantime, we've got incoming. A captain. No place for you to go now. And a codex. Um, okay then. Still disoriented, huh? That's annoying. All right, let's see here. Now, this is always a bit of a struggle. I need to figure out, do I want to focus on the finishing off the um, the tower, or do I want to take out these enemies? And I feel like the answer is probably going to be both. Um, unfortunately, Adriana has the Mimic Beacon. Back online. And since she is dazed, there isn't a ton that I can do about that. Yeah, the dead eye is probably a good plan. We do crit the um, the codex there. With his last bullet, Chaco Sunshine with the dead eye for nine damage. Um, you still have frost grenades. Like we may as well make use of those. I think we're going to go ahead and put this captain on ice so we don't have to worry about him next round. Silver Key is going to go ahead and finish off one of these codices. As you order, Commander. Or not. Not really worth breaking shadow otherwise. Let's see if we'll go finish off one of the codices. I think we can afford one more round. We're still doing damage. That's right. On my way. Adriana is still dazed, so she's definitely going to shoot the uh, the thing that she can't miss on for nine damage. Enemies moving on the no hide. We got a specter coming in. No problem. Boss is at 60%. Probably gonna do that psionic bomb like nonsense. You. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go ahead and finish off. Do I have a free reload? I do. I think we can finish off the tower. DJ Danil will pop out Absolutely. and finish killing this. Can I hit them both? No. Yes, I can. <laughs> DJ Daniel, bring in the pain. The sea finishes it off, and everyone else is going to be attacking the tower. Tired of waiting around. 
you can't reach the tower right now for some reason. We're going to move you over here so that you can. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that Chosen with everything we've got. Okay, so next we've got Head that out. Spectre. Reloaded. Not quite sure how to deal with it. 54% hit chance. May as well give it a try. Nice shot. But M is finally oh, revealed. You cannot run. Where's she going? They're flanking my position! I'm not quite sure what just happened. We're gonna lose Chaco Sunshine, at least temporarily. He's fine. We're also going to have some more incoming, probably, but we're going to be focused pretty, pretty sharply on the assassin. It's possible to fight another on equal footing. Wow, and uh, Silver Key hits her so hard that she apparently gets yeeted all, all the way across the room, in the opposite direction. I love you, XCOM 2. Never change. And with that, friends... It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. Quick content warning. She's gonna. Sorry, forgot she was gonna do that. Okay, not bad. We took down the chosen assassin. She's no longer going to be bothering us. Can we get some W's in chat? Let's take a mission photo. Phenomenal. The aliens will know fear. Not bad. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, I don't know that I could put one MVP down for that. That was a pretty amazing group effort, all things considered. That said, Chaotic Beat dealt the most damage. 94% successful shot, not bad. Scimitar made the most attacks, Adriano was most under fire, and Nasif moved the furthest. Like I said, I think that was a pretty excellent team effort. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, XCOM. Good work out there, Commander. The elders are going to be pissed about losing their favorite puppet. Now, Silver Key has been shaken, so they're going to be out for a little bit. But we also got our promotion. Banish. Okay, this is what takes Silver Key and takes them from just being a very useful and effective scout to being a boss killer. What Banish does is you fire at the target until you either run out of ammo or it dies. Um, so combine that with Shredder and you've got someone who can just destroy a Sectopod's entire armor or a Gatekeeper very, very quickly. So we're absolutely going to take Banish. Um, and I think... Tactical Rigging is useful, but then again, an extra Claymore is also useful. I don't really care about any of these. It'll take a little bit of XCOM AP, but we did just pick some up. We're going to go ahead and give you that second Claymore. I think the extra utility is a good plan, especially since they can use them without being revealed. Now, here we've got... If you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 M aim and plus 10 critical chance. Absolutely. A lot of the time we park Chaco Sunshine on an elevated position and let him do his thing. 
Adriana is wounded, but everyone else seems to get out more or less scot-free. We picked up a codex brain. We picked up the shotgun and the sword that the chosen assassin uses, very important. Um, some corpses, a single advent trooper corpse. I don't know if that's enough, but we're about to find out. Efficiently executed and no casualties. Thank you, Volk. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. All right, all right. You take some rest. You'll be fine. Um, let's go into engineering. Let's go to build items. Let's go to armor. We still do not have enough trooper corpses. Uh, the alien alloys, I don't mind because I can buy that from the black market anytime. I got but a report of some creaking down by the so yesterday. I just hope it's upsetting. Sometimes there is a gather corpses thing here, but there isn't one, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and finish hunting down the Chosen Hunter. We're going to send Nasif out on that, along with our rando. Hopefully we will be able to um, fight the Chosen Hunter this session as well, depending on how long it takes. Aww, are you sad? Maybe you shouldn't have sent her to like kill my people. Jerk. Does not love very life force flow within your veins? We feel such loss. Yet within you we sense something else. Arrogance. No, him? Arrogant? Absolutely not. There can be only one explanation. You have succumbed to the failings of your humanity. You squander It's very, it's flat out stated that the Chosen were humans at one point. I put you into this world, I can take you out of it. Leave us. 